Hi friends! This is the Dainty Wife, taking over Dainty Tank's recording for a day. She is still sick, so I am here filling in for her, shrouded behind the anonymity of not including my video in with what I'm doing. So as it is Steven Universe Saturday, I figured I would take the BuzzFeed quiz of what would your gem be in Steven Universe. However, instead of doing it for me, I am going to do it for my beloved Dainty Tank and see what her gem would be. All right, so first we need to pick a weapon. All right, what weapon would the Dainty Tank like? Oh, there are some good options here. I think she's not too much with the bow and arrow or the boomerang. She could be good with a lot of these, but I feel her going after a pretty awesome sword. We have a master sword from Zelda laying around and a wooden sword from the Renaissance Fair from a few years ago. So I'm going to go with sword for her weapon. Pick a form of defense. Let's see. Words. Fists. A cold, icy glare. That would be me. Put my teacher training to work. Weapons. Foresight. Whatever I can reach. An army. Armor. And wit. Hmm. Let's see, a form of defense. So that means that it would be if she is the one being attacked, so she's defending herself. I'm gonna go with whatever I can reach because it is very impressive the number of times that her response to seeing anything has been, oh, you could bludgeon someone with that. Like, I can't even think of any good examples, but... There are definitely a lot of very obscure objects that her response is just, I could bludgeon someone with that. Or you could hit someone with that. So whatever I can reach. Express yourself. How does Dainty Tank express herself? Um, dance, no, poetry, no, music, eh, drawing, occasionally, talking, yeah, yelling, never, hugging, often, blogging, no, building. Um, hmm. I would say probably either talking or building. I'm gonna go with building. She really likes to make stuff, even if it's like building a website or something. I'm gonna go with building for how she expresses herself. Pick a place to call home. Ooh, there are lots of good options here for her. So where we are right now is kind of like this one, a nice pretty area with mountains where we live is a little bit more built up, but we're pretty close to some pretty mountains. She's a big fan of that. However, she also is a fan of space and castles. I don't know if she's mentioned this before, but she was, she wanted to be an astronaut, like up until she went to college and learned she couldn't be an astronaut. And then she still did aerospace. Um, but a place to call home. I don't think space would feel like home to her. So let's go with a castle. I feel like she would love just exploring and getting to know it, especially with the river, because rivers mean bridges. So yeah, let's go with the castle. What job would you be best at? Graphic designer, president, teacher, IT, architect, nurse, engineer, office clerk, police officer. I mean, IT is a very simplified version of what she does. Um, she would also make a pretty good engineer. What she does is pretty close to engineering. Or at least she studied a lot of engineering. I think it was the physics that got to her. Let's go with IT. Because she's really good with computers. Pick a power. Super strength, shape shifting, mind control, healing powers, change sizes, control electricity, flight, invisibility, and cloning. <sighs> My go to would be shape shifting, but I feel like we've had this conversation before and she was not so much into the shape shifting. Definitely not mind control because bodily autonomy. Um. Maybe healing powers, although I feel like that involves. A lot of like fine motor control, which for her can vary. She's better with the, you know, the gross motor, the big muscles tasks. Um, changing sizes would mess with her like 
visual spatial perception way too much. And not cloning, because she's one of a kind. Um, so I think that leaves me... And control electricity, nah. I think that leaves me with super strength, flight, or invisibility. Uh, I'm gonna go with flight. I feel like she'd have fun with flight. Especially how much she loves planes. She could fly and look at all the planes. How do you relax? A long walk? Yeah. Punching things? No. Crafts? Eh. Yelling? Definitely not. <laughs> relax? What? Eh, that's more me. Sleeping? Yeah. The gym? Eh. When, when we can go to the gym. Puzzles? No. Definitely not. And starting a new project? It depends on her mood. So, I think that primarily leaves a long walk, sleeping, or the gym. Um, let's go with a long walk. Driving also for her, but that's not an option here, so let's go with a long walk. Pick a genre of music. Classical, metal, R&B, soul, country, techno, rock, jazz, electronic. She likes rock and she likes metal. I'm gonna go with metal just because that feels like more fun. Also, I hope you don't mind me reading all the answers. I don't actually know how to do this, but I work with elementary school students who can't read a lot of the time, so I'm used to reading all the options before actually selecting an answer. What do you fight for? My home, love, a cause, respect, a real leader, power, what's right, everything, myself. Um... Hmm. Let's see. I think Dainty Tank is one to fight. She fights for what's right. Oh, she's a sapphire. Really? Quiet and a little bit mysterious. Your powers of foresight mean that you carry the weight of knowing the future on your shoulders. You don't open yourself to others often, but when you do, you're loyal and loving to the people you care about. That is hilarious because I think she's mentioned this before, but we call ourselves Ruby and Sapphire, except I'm the Sapphire and she is the Ruby. So I find it absolutely hilarious that she got Sapphire, but okay, apparently Dandy Tank is a Sapphire. So now we are switching over to the Doll Divine Gem Sona Maker, where we are going to turn Dandy Tank into a sapphire, because why not? Okay, so is the sapphire? Nope, that's lapis. Sapphire? Where is sapphire? Come on, there's so many blues. Which one is sapphire? Anything? No? Am I just gonna click through all the blues and eventually find one that might be sapphire? Is this just gonna be really boring of me clicking through every single one and trying to find where the freaking sapphire is, because this is not high quality content. This doesn't, huh. Oh, it's because I'm doing solid, that's why. If I switch to clear, hey look, sapphire, I found it. Excellent. Okay, okay, so we have sapphire, we have clear, cut. Let's see, we have oval, we have that, the pentagon cut, the hexagon, diamond, teardrop, like a sh triangle, shield, probably triangle, and a heart. I'm gonna go with this diamond cut because she is a box. So she is a square, and diamond is closest to square, and also four is her favorite number. You are learning all sorts of fun facts about Dainty Tank today, because it's me and not her, and I can tell you whatever I want. Okay, next. I'm picking the size, I guess, although I think I want to see it on her first. All right, ooh, where to place it? Let's see, we have forehead, neck, chest, belly, arm, forearm, hand, thigh, knee, calf, or foot. Um, I'm gonna go with calf, because that's where she has a tattoo. 
so I know that she likes showing off things on her calves. Okay, do we want on the left or the right? Um, let's go with the right calf. Right from her perspective, not ours. And I think we can make it, oh, can I make it a little bigger? Nope, that's the biggest it goes, okay. Awesome. Oh, and we've body types, although I think I might get to do more of that later. So which one's close to her? Oof. Um, I mean, none of these are really her body type. Like, I guess, oof, none of these are really good. I mean, either two or five, I guess. Let's start with five. We can always go back and change it, I think. All right, next, body, there we go, height. Bring it down. She's not as short as me, but she is still not the tallest of people. Okay. She's definitely pretty box-like. Head width. Or let's start with head shape. We have one, two, and three. Let's go with one. That's the, the square jaw. She's a nice square jaw. Eh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. Width. Cause that's just a little too wide. I think that's good. Whoa. Okay, so that's like generally adding like body fat and general build. I think that one's probably closest to her except give her the breast reduction that she spent so much time recovering from last year. Next, what else? Um, ch chest, yeah, that's a little, oh, nice and boxy. <laughs> I keep saying that she's boxy or that she's a box. I absolutely love her and I think she's beautiful. She just happens to have a generally square build and she stands by that, hence the name Dainty Tank. Okay. Head width. I don't really feel the need to mess with the head width, and I feel like that just looks weird. Anything else, neck? Yeah, I'll give her a slightly thicker neck. Legs, what does this do? Oh, that beefs up the legs, got it. She does have very athletic legs. Whoa, okay, apparently it's an option to just not have legs. Okay, cool. I can't think of any gems that- oh, I guess in the show Sapphire doesn't actually have legs that we- do we- no, we see her legs when she puts on the suit for the wedding. But the rest of the time she's just wearing the dress so we don't actually see if she has legs. What gems don't have legs? I'm sure that there are some, but I just can't think of any. Leave in the comments if you can remember any of the gems that just don't have legs. Arms. Hmm, let's see, well, that one or that one. Um, hmm. I think that one is pretty accurate to her. I can't. Oh, that's arm positioning. Got it. Well, I feel like I can't really tell that until I know what we're giving her and what she's going to be wearing, but okay. What's this down here? Is this body color? Skin color? Let's see. Ah, yes, that's skin color. I mean, honestly, I'm fine with leaving it as it is. Yeah, just leave her as the, the sapphire blue. Alright, I may, oops, I may come back to the arm positioning later. Extra arm sets, I do not feel like she needs extra arms. Her coordination is good enough as is, and she just wouldn't have anything to do with extra arms. Face. Let's give her some cool facial expressions. Starting with eyes. She will often have Steven eyes, sparkly eyes, especially when she sees things that she likes, including planes, bridges, cool architecture, awesome merch for things she likes. So I think that's a solid option. Whoop. Ah. Those are cute. There are a lot of cute options here. This is just cute. 
Oh, I like that one. I think that one could be good for her. Hmm. Eh, nothing with any makeup. Nah. And we definitely don't... Nah, she does not need five eyes. Okay, so I think either the kind of bismuthy eyes or the sparkly Steven eyes. And I think I'm going to go with the sparkly Steven eyes. Just because why not? I can do what I want. Eyebrows! Oh, that just looks sad. Maybe that one. Eh. Eh. <laughs> that is hilarious, but also no. That doesn't work. Oh, got it a wink, which doesn't work so well with the sparkly eyes. Skeptical sparkly eyes? Devious sparkly eyes. No. Angry sparkly eyes. <laughs> and no. All right, so I think that one or that one is our best option. I'm gonna stick with this one, just like relatively neutralize. Okay, eye color eh, with the sparkly eyes. I honestly think I'm just gonna leave them black. No eyeshadow, no blush, no makeup for her. Freckles, oh, those are cute, but she doesn't really have too much in term, too much noticeable in terms of freckles. Markings, whoa, those are cool but I don't think she needs them. They are pretty cool though. <laughs> nice. Oh, now I'm just having fun. Okay, but I think I'm gonna go with no markings. Nose, let's give her something cute for a nose. Hmm. Hmm, that one's cute. Yeah. Uh, not that one. That one might work. <laughs> um, let's see that one or that one. I like. Eh. I like that one. I'm gonna give her that nose. And mouth. I mean, this mouth is already pretty great for her already. But let's look at some other options like Jasper Fangs, <laughs> which is. Both adorable and terrifying at the same time. No Jasper Fangs. Let's see, we have Smirk. Um, fun fact, when we were first dating, she would do that, like, little half smile all the time. And it was so cute and one of the things that endeared me to her. But it doesn't really go with the eyes. I mean, I guess I could switch to different eyes. But nah, I like the, I like the, the sparkly eyes too much. So let's pick something that goes with the sparkly eyes. Um, <laughs> no. Um, I think I'm going to stick with that. I think that that really is the best choice. Oh, I keep doing that. The best choice for a dainty sapphire. Ooh, hair. Let's give her some good hair. That That is not giving her good hair. That is giving her no hair, which is fine but it does not objectively qualify as hair. <laughs> That's kind of fun. That is sometimes what her hair looks like when it hasn't been cut in long enough. That, eh, that one's honestly more like my hair. Fun fact, now you know what the dainty wife's hair looks like. Now you'll know who I am. Um, Paradise. Could have a sapphire with ruby hair. That's fun. Um, but now I am making Dainty Tank as a gem, so I want to look like her, and I think this is probably the closest to her, even though it's way more product than she usually would use. Well, awesome. All right. What are these colors for? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Um... Maybe I'll just click something and see what color it turns. Pink. Oh, that's pink hair. Okay. So then what's this one? If I make that pink. Oh, that's for highlights. I see. I see what's going on here. All right. Well, we've been really boring about this, so I might make it a little bit more interesting. So let's go with darker hair. But maybe do... Do we have anything gray here? Because... Because ah, she... Has some salt and pepper going on. 
feels like a grayish blue. There's like some grayish purple, but there's not just like a gray gray. So let's go with that. Do we think we like it with the lighter blue? Nah, let's we'll stick with the darker blue because she's dark hair with the salt and pepper. So we have the little light streaks going on. Excellent. We are making some great progress. I keep bringing up that screen, but that's okay. Ah, here's, here we go. Now we're getting into outfit. So nothing low cut. She hates low cut. Hates v-necks. She's all about crew necks and all about muscle tees. And not too big on crops. I cannot tell the difference. Oh, there's like a minuscule difference between these two. What are these? Oh, that's sleeves. No, 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 no. Our dainty tank gets a muscle tank because that is her favorite. So she gets the longest muscle tank we can find, although that is pretty cool. Waistline. Let's see, we could. Yeah, give her some shorts. Rocking some long shorts. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, do I get to pick outfit color? I'm worried I'm gonna mess this up. Aha, oh, I see, I see. So I pick the color, then I pick the item. So like I can go with blue and then make the shirt blue. Got it. Well, in that case, we are just gonna give her some nice khaki shorts, like the cargo shorts that she loves so much. Eh, except that looks a little weird. What if I go with like that? No, definitely not. Look at me pretending like I know what I'm talking about with fashion and all that. <laughs> nope. Hmm. How about that match the hair? <laughs> Let's go one darker. Lighter shorts, nice bright blue shirt. We're just going with every shade of blue. They might clash, I don't really care. I, what's, what is the difference here? Does that have to do with the level of shadow? Is it blending into the skin? I am confused as to what the difference here is. Oh, so that one is just whether or not, whether it's one piece or two pieces, I see. Okay, I really don't understand what the difference is here. I am sure that someone can tell me, but I don't know. So we're just gonna stick with it. All right, moving on. No sleeves. Gotta show off those shoulders. You know, I am, I am not loving the blue of the shirt with the blue of the hair. So what if I make the shirt the same color as the hair? Yeah, that's better. Much better. Any overlays? Let's see, that one is definitely not, and I can already hear all of the dirty jokes she would make. That one, eh. That's okay. No, 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 no. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Nope. And nope. So I don't think we're doing an overlay. Unless we want to go with that one. Which is kind of fun. I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it. Alright, let's keep it. Any gloves? Gloves can be fun. Oh, some nice fingerless gloves. Those are kind of awesome. All right, she's getting she's getting some awesome fingerless gloves. Excellent. Cool, cool. Socks. Socks and shoes. Let's see. She loves sneakers. So we have anything like sneakers. Those are kind of like sneakers. She also likes, ooh, she loves Tevas. She loves sandals. But I don't see anything here that looks like Tevas or sandals. So... Hmm, she's not so much into the boots. I guess that's the closest we're getting to sneakers. Some combination of that, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll go with it. 
Let's try to get that in the same color as the pants. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with it. Belt. Does she need a belt? Oh, if I knew we could get belts, then I wouldn't have done... You know what? Yep, I'm taking away the overlay. Giving her a belt. Let's find a good belt for her. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I like the look of that, but I feel like it's not necessary. Not very her. She'd go with something pretty, pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I even like it in the white. No skirts. Just, just no. Dainty Tank is not a skirts person. I'm not even a skirts person. Dresses, sure. Skirts, absolutely not. And now we have some fun stuff. We have extra gems. We got Cookie Cat. He is super duper yummy. We got bows. We got stars. We got glasses. We got whatever that is. I don't actually know, but we're not using it. I, is an, an egg? What's that supposed to be? I am, I am not understanding this. Okay. Oh wow, they have a crack, so you can have a cracked gem. That is, that is some creative thinking there. But I don't think I want any of these extras for her, because that's just too many decisions to make right now. Okay. We have... Oh, these are, are these extra hands? I guess? And, uh, what? What is this? I, uh, extra legs? I am very confused. Yeah, we, I, I am, I, I do not understand this, but I'm going with extra hands for something. We have, oh wow, we have hair. That, okay, no. Nope. There we go, behind body. <laughs> not her, but highly entertaining and just, just square. Okay, you can just have square hair. Awesome, cool. All right, um, cute little pigtail, not doing that, but this is fun and adorable. Yeah, okay. Ooh, weapons, all right. So, we chose a sword for her. We were gonna give her a sword, according to the, um, quiz. And I'm gonna stand by that. I'm gonna give her a sword as much as I really just want to give her a sim gem, because that just looks like the marker for a sit for sims. So she will get, oh, those are different pieces. Mm, so I could give her like a scimitar or something. That's fun. Ooh, I like the star hilt. Yes. Okay, this is where I think I need to go all the way back to where I can adjust her arm positioning. Yeah. So she's a lefty, so we're gonna use her left hand for this. Let's see, can we straighten out that arm? And that hand. Let's see. Maybe like that. That might be what we need to do. And then we have the sword going here. Let's try that. I can always move it. Ah! Okay. All right. Okay. So we have this. Can I rotate it? Oh, I rotate it, then I put it on. All right. So let's rotate. We have hilt or base. And then, I mean, I guess it's technically supposed to go with like the whip or something, but I think it'd be cool if that were part of the sword. But, oh, we can make it smaller. That's cool. So what if we move that, I put this here, and then, and then, and then I put this on top, 
Yeah, that's looking pretty snazzy. Is it practical? Absolutely not. But does it look cool? Heck, yes it does. Awesome. Except I kind of want to rotate everything one more time. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Pivot! Pivot! I don't actually watch Friends, but everyone knows that reference. Or at least a lot of people know that reference. Especially nowadays. One more. One. Two. Three. Done. Okay. That's what I want it to look like. That makes me happy. Awesome. Is this our dainty tank, Sapphire? I think it is. Where should she be? Space. No doubt. Space. Done. Boom. Awesome. Dainty tank in space. Dainty tank as a sapphire. Hopefully this recording worked. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to hear more from the dainty wife, leave a comment. Let us know. I might do this again, especially if she's still sick. I promise you she's fine. She's just, she just got a little cold, that's all. Otherwise, yeah, stay safe. We love you. Bye.